My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a lead architect and the LM consultant. Today, I want to introduce one of the new features of TFS 11, which is Team. The Team feature is a new feature introduced in TFS 11 that adds new dimension to the Team projects. Before Team, we only have two dimensions, which are iteration and area. But after the team feature, now we have three dimensions, iteration, area, and team. So now the team project can have many iterations, many areas, and many teams as well. So what is the benefit of this new dimension? Just think of a larger project that has many teams work on it. Each team has a different backlog items, different sprints, different stand-up meetings, different favorite for work items, queries, source control branch, and build definition, and so on and so forth. So the team needs different web access, so his members can manage their own activities and be separate from other teams. So by introducing the team feature, we can manage this difference very easy. Wow, it's really awesome. This feature supports small teams working on different product areas to manage their backlog and iteration cycles, separate from other teams. We define and manage team membership through Team Web Access. We manage team member through the administration mode in Team Web Access. We have to consider very important notes. In TFS 11, we're working on a teams, not on team projects. So, what about if I didn't segment my project into teams? When we create a team project, it is created with default team inside, which gives us the ability to apply all team capabilities into the team project. In another word, we were working on the team project that means we're working on the default team inside these team projects. To understand the team feature, let's see an example. Assume that we have three teams, team one, team two, and the default team working on the same project and have one product backlog. Although they are working on the same project, but each team has a different members different backlog items, different days off, and so on and so forth. So let's give an example of what each team may have. And remember, all teams share the same product backlog, but each team manage its own backlog separately from other teams. So team one will have three members, Ryan, Julia, and Cameron. Their backlog contain user story one and user story two. Days off are Saturday and Fridays. Four weeks sprint, work on branch one on the, the source control, work on build definition one. Team two has two members, Adam and Julia. Their backlog contain user story three and user story four. Days off is Friday only. Two weeks sprint, work on branch two and the source control working on build definition 2. The default team has any and Julia backlog, contain users 35 and 6, days of is Sunday only, one week sprint, work on branch 3 on the source control, work on build definition 3. So let's see the demo. I will connect remote using the admin. I will create new project, team project, TFS EG. I will go to the setting 
and start adding Julia as a project administrator I will log in with Julia Now I connect to TFS EG So I will open the web access This web access for the team, not for the team project, but because the team project has a default team, so this web access for the default team for the team projects. The web access is a web application that used so the team can manage their work. So here is the team members, here is the team favorites, here is the they can manage work and source control and build and so on and so forth. Let's go to the settings. So now we can see this is the team project, TFS EG, project profile. And we can see here that there is a default team created when we create the project. So if I didn't create any teams by default, there is a default team. And all settings apply to the teams. To understand the team more, let's add some teams. Team 1. Team 2. Now, when I want to give setting or specifying settings, I will choose the team and then put the settings like iteration, area, security, alerts all the settings apply to the team as we can see but if I choose the default team we'll see here that not all options appear because to specify setting for the default team I must choose the team project itself so by specifying the settings for the team projects that means I'm specifying the settings for the default team I can also change the default team if I if I come here and so now team 2 is the default if I select team 2 we will see that the settings disappear and I must choose the team project specifying the settings for the team to and now this is normal team okay let's add member to the teams as our example from here I can add administrator as a shortcut let's add prime and I can add members normal members from here camera so now team 1 has 3 members 1 administrator added to Julia of course the Julia are added automatically because I am logging with Julia okay let's go to team 2 Adam and finally Kenny
So now I have three teams with different members. Let's manage every team. Choose team one and specifying the iteration for team one. As we mentioned that team one has four weeks sprint to the start of the day and finish. Two weeks, four weeks. Team two has two weeks of sprint. We'll work on a sprint two. So also start today and finish after only two weeks. team so I must choose team project we we'll work on iteration 3 to we'll the start today finish one week so now as we can see that each team has a different sprint start and end dates Okay, let's close the settings. And start to open the web access again. So this is the web access for the team project for the default team. If I want to change I can go to the web access for the team one. We can see here that we have three members in the team one. If we go to the team 2, we have two members. And if we go to the default team, we have two members. So let's add some user story, six user stories, so we can assign the product backlog and assign each team different backlog items. Okay. user story 1 let's on release 1 this will be for team 1 story 2 it's also for release 1 Team one, this will be for team two. So six. Let's define favorite for each team. Go to work. Work item. This is the query. I will add this query to the favorite team two.
I will add two queries just to be I will add three queries here so now if we open the home page we can see that we have three favorite queries this for the default team but if we go to team one we can see that team one have only one favorite query if we go to team 2 we can see that team 2 only has two query and so the backlog if we go to the backlog of team we can see that the backlog of team 2 has only two user story which is user story 3 and 4 if we choose team 1 we can see this is different if we choose the default team we can see that the default team has all the user story because is it the default team so each team we will use the web access to manage his favorite queries he can also manage the source control and the build as we mentioned in, in the example because each team may working on different branch and different build definition and so on and so forth so each team would using the web access separately from different teams and this is what added by introducing the new feature which is team to the TFS 11 thank you